I don't believe that there is one way of being happy. There are many ways of being happy. Um, there are two, in this little book about art of life, I wrote that there are two factors, independent factors, relatively independent factors, which uh, shape up human life. One is fate. Fate is a short name for all things on which we have no influence, which happen to us, but they are not of our doing, that's fate. And the other is character. And character is a very individual thing. You can work on your character if you want. You can change it, you can improve it. Uh, uh, it is under your control to a very great extent. Uh, the, role, the division of labor between fate and character is such that uh, the fate sets the range of options which are realistic to you. On that you have no uh, influence. If you were born 20 years earlier than you were, your range of options will be different. If you uh, uh, were born 20 years later, again it will be different. If you were born in this suburb, affluent suburb, you have one range of options. If you are uh, uh, born in a ghetto, it's completely different range of options. But there is always range of options which is provided by fate. But the choices between these options are made by character. And because characters are very many and uh, very different, uh, you can't give one recipe for happiness. I know that there are counselors now who earn quite a lot of money by pretending that they have recipes for happiness. Don't believe them. They are, you know, uh, uh, who'd be you? Uh, I would never dare to give such an advice. Uh, well, I am not comparing myself with Socrates, but very many philosophers, uh, contemporary philosophers, consider uh, life of Socrates, the, his uh, personality, which he constructed, as the most perfect, relatively perfect, which you can imagine. But what does it mean? Uh, uh, the, that does it mean that if Socrates' kind of life, which he selected, is the perfect, perfect solution for Socrates anyway, does it mean that we all should imitate Socrates and try to be like him? No, the answer is on the contrary, because precisely. Socrates considered a secret of his happiness in that, that he on his own, by his own will, created the form of life which he lived. People who imitate somebody else's form of life, somebody else's uh, uh, model of happiness, are not like Socrates. On the contrary, they betray his recipe. They betray his recipe because his recipe can precisely. Uh, well, you can you can translate it in a simple term, saying that for every human being there is a perfect world made especially for him or for her. <laughs>